Oh, it's good. I mean, uh, the job of an offensive lineman go through like contact and, and physical play. So it's good to be out there and, and practice that work against the D line. We're getting after each other pretty good those two, those last two days. Do you feel a different attitude from the defense this year? There's new new players and some new coaches. Does it feel different than last year? I mean, for sure. Just looking at the scheme, the scheme is totally different. But what uh, strikes me the most is the the way the guys go after it. It's uh, it's really good competition. We need it on the offensive line and. Uh, it's good to go out there against guys that want to finish every play the same way we do. Seems like there's some a difference. Frank, I know you're not typically the one that's going against Frank Clark, but what, are you, what do you see from him lining up so close to him? He's, a, he's an amazing player. He's, uh, he's really quick. He has uh, tremendous ability. And, uh, and, and, I mean, Fish is doing a pretty good job against him. Mitch Ward was, too, uh, yesterday. And, uh, and I think it's good work for everybody. He's going to be a good weapon for us this year, for Speck, sure. Speck said that after the after practice, he came up and just kind of tapped all the offensive linemen, saying, like, good work. What does that mean to have a guy on the defense come up and, and do that and be kind of like the ultimate teammate? I, I mean, I think we're – Frank is for sure one a great teammate, but we're all kind of that way in the sense that – uh, we we all want to challenge each other on the field. When when we're off the field, we're all also teammates and we're on the same team. So uh, it's it's good to feel that chemistry is slowly building up uh, off the field, but on the field it, it's game time and we're playing against each other for our job. No, go ahead. Sorry. I hate when people do that. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you, you mentioned the chemistry and obviously injuries are a part of the game. You guys have to work in today. You're working without Mitchell. Uh, how, how that uh, how the chemistry feel when, when the next man up situation. I mean, Cam is just a, a great player. He, he started, I think, at every position over the last couple of years. So it's good to it's good to play with him. And it, I mean, Cam is one of those guys that's always gonna cheer you on and, and make correction as the play go on. He's a tremendous athlete too. So it's good to be to play with him. And and, and you know, you, you you learn a little bit. You know, when you play with Mitch, Mitch calls basically everything that's happening on the field as things uh, develop. So so playing with Cam, I think it's. It's more on me and on him to make those calls. So it's good. It's good to work that part of my game too. How was it felt for you to be back in the lineup? I know during this first line period since that injury last year, you know, sort of live. Um, just how is your health? How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, for sure, I got things to work on. My my timing is not 100% back yet, but I'm working on it, and it's just good to be back with the guys and and feeling that chemistry is slowly building because uh, everybody thinks we got something special, and I strongly believe it too. What did you see last year, in Andrew, watching him play your position? And Oh, Andrew! Andrew's a good player. He's a good guy too, and uh, uh, I feel like he was really constant last year. You know, as a he was not a rookie; he was his second year. But jumping in there and, and being able to block really good pass rusher in tough situation uh, with good technique, I, I think there's a lot to learn from that. And, and I, I think it's good. You know, we we, we have a lot of competitions, uh, especially inside this year, and we're all challenging each other to to find who are the best. Uh, best guy on the field, but uh, at the end of the day, we're all also teammates and friends, so that's a good news. How big is the challenge to have this offense be better than it was last year? It's such a record-setting offense. Can it be done? Can you guys be better than you were? For sure. I, mean, I think when you look at the film, there's always things you can clean up. You know, we were not perfect all the time, and, and it's uh, it's what you got to do as a, as a team when, when everybody's looking at you and looking at what you're going to be able to do this year is correct those little details and, and always detail the detail to make sure you, you come on the field on Sunday ready to roll. Yesterday, Sammy said it, it, the offense could almost be unstoppable. I mean, is that the feeling you guys all have? Yeah, but our defense is pretty good too. So that's the, that's the, the, the good thing this year is that we're, we're challenging each other on the field and, and it, I think it's good for the both of us. Larry, what are your early impressions of uh, rookie running back Darwin Thompson when he's able to get his way up? Oh, he's quick. He's a he's a really good player, really agile, and uh, and it's it's good to block for him. You know, it's it's for sure different than uh, you know a, a bigger guy, but it's 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 good to have that quickness in the backfield. Last one, anyone? Um, this all, I just have one more. This yeah. offseason, you got to be a little bit more involved with NFL Canada. They've kind of embraced you. Just what does that mean to you? You've sort of been a represent uh, representative of the NFL. In, I mean, I take a lot of pride into it uh, to, to 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 kind of protect the shield and and, and, and promote it and north of the border. So it's uh, it's an honor to be able to do that, and and I think it ties in really well with uh, my foundation back home, uh, which try to promote uh, balance between uh, active lifestyle and study. So uh, I think that the two of uh, go really well uh, together. Yeah.